Journey with us as we delve into the world of the unexplained, exploring the top five mysterious UFO sightings. The universe is vast and full of mysteries, and one of the most captivating mysteries is the existence of unidentified flying objects, or UFOs, that have been sighted around the globe. These sightings have sparked intrigue, debates, and a relentless search for answers. Many of these incidents have been reported by credible witnesses and remain unexplained despite rigorous investigations. Today, we will take a closer look at five such sightings that have stirred the imagination of millions. From the unexplained lights over the Canadian Northwest Territories in 2023 to the Phoenix Lights incident in Arizona, the Rendlesham Forest incident in the UK, the Gulf Breeze sightings in Florida, and the Westall UFO incident in Australia. Each of these sightings presents a unique story, a piece of the puzzle that challenges our understanding of the universe. Prepare to question what you know as we begin our journey with the most recent sighting in 2023. Imagine the surprise of Canadian pilots as they spot two unregistered lights dancing in the sky. Picture this. It's a chilly evening in January 2023, just before midnight. A Canadian North flight is headed towards Yellowknife in Canada's Northwest Territories. The crew spots two white lights moving in a circular pattern in the sky. Curious? They radio the air traffic controllers, asking if there are any planes performing circuits or maneuvers in the vicinity. The response from the ground is a resounding negative. There's no reported traffic in the area. The air traffic controller, intrigued, asks if the crew has a visual on something. The response is hesitant. Yeah, uh, we're looking at two lights dancing around here, to the east of your field. They're above us about, I don't know what. We're not seeing them on TCS, Traffic Collision Avoidance System, but we can see the lights moving around. The crew, now puzzled and slightly perturbed, insists they aren't hallucinating. There's a pause before the crew member radios back to say, we're not crazy. The air traffic controller, equally mystified, replies, no, we believe you. And so begins the tale of the Yellowknife incident. Two unregistered lights moving in a pattern too high to be identified, yet visible to the naked eye. They weren't detected by any aviation systems, adding another layer of mystery to the incident. The pilots weren't suffering from fatigue, nor were they new to the route. These were experienced individuals who had flown this route multiple times, yet they were at a loss to explain what they were seeing. This incident sparked a flurry of discussions and speculations. Some suggested they were drones, others thought they were military aircraft testing new technology. Yet no concrete evidence was ever found to support these theories. The lights vanished as mysteriously as they appeared, leaving behind a trail of questions. To this day, the identity of these dancing lights remains a mystery. The Yellowknife incident stands as one of the most intriguing UFO sightings, a testament to the unexplained phenomena that continue to puzzle us. Next, we travel to Phoenix, Arizona, where a massive silent triangular object was spotted in the night sky. This sighting, known as the Phoenix Lights incident, remains one of the most significant and debated UFO encounters in recent history. It was the year 1997. Thousands of residents across the state of Arizona reported seeing an unusual object in the sky. This wasn't your regular flying saucer. People described it as a massive triangular formation spanning miles across, silently gliding above the city of Phoenix. The object was adorned with a series of lights, casting an ethereal glow against the dark canvas of the night sky. The sheer size of the object and the eerie silence with which it moved left an indelible mark on those who witnessed it. The incident was so widely reported that it quickly gained national attention, sparking intense debate and speculation. Was it an extraterrestrial spacecraft, a secret military operation or perhaps a natural phenomenon yet to be understood? As the news spread, the military stepped in with an explanation. They claimed the lights were merely flares dropped by an aircraft during a training session. However, this explanation didn't sit well with many. The skeptics pointed out that flares don't move in a coordinated triangular pattern, nor do they silently glide across the sky for an extended period. Despite the military's attempts to quell the speculations, the Phoenix Lights incident continues to ignite the imagination of UFO enthusiasts worldwide. The incident has spurred numerous investigations, documentaries and even feature films. Yet the mystery remains unsolved. 
Whether the lights were indeed a product of military training or a sign of extraterrestrial life is still a topic of debate. Despite countless eyewitnesses and photographic evidence, the truth behind the Phoenix light still eludes us. It's a mystery that serves as a stark reminder of our place in the vast, unexplored cosmos and the infinite possibilities that lie beyond our understanding. We now cross the Atlantic to Suffolk, UK, where military officers claim to have encountered an unidentified glowing object. It was the winter of 1980 in the quiet forest near RAF Bentwaters and RAF Woodbridge, a joint US-UK military base. In the early hours of December 26th, security personnel reported seeing a strange light descending into the forest. Intrigued and concerned, a small group of officers ventured into the darkness to investigate. What they found was beyond their wildest imaginations. There in a clearing amidst the dense trees stood an alien-like craft, metallic and humming, radiating a bright, almost blinding light. But the strangeness didn't stop there. The officers reported seeing strange symbols etched into the surface of the object, like a language they couldn't decipher. The symbols were odd, unlike anything they had ever seen before. This was no ordinary aircraft. As they stood in awe of the spectacle before them, the officers began to feel a surge of strange sensations. Some reported feeling a static charge in the air that made their hair stand on end. Others claimed their heartbeats quickened, their palms grew sweaty, and they felt an inexplicable sense of dread. The encounter lasted a mere handful of minutes, but the impact was lasting. In the days that followed, the officers reported suffering from a range of physical and psychological effects. Insomnia, anxiety, and even hallucinations plagued them, adding another layer of mystery to the already baffling event. The military was quick to launch an official investigation into the incident, but the results were inconclusive. Despite thorough examinations and countless interviews, they could offer no explanation for the strange craft, the bizarre symbols, or the effects experienced by the officers. Even today, the Rendlesham Forest incident remains a topic of intense debate among UFO enthusiasts and skeptics alike. Was it an extraterrestrial visitation, a secret military experiment, or something else entirely? Even after an official military investigation, the Rendlesham Forest incident remains unexplained. We return to the US, to Gulf Breeze, Florida, where six residents encountered a series of strange flying objects. Back in the late 1980s, a series of UFO sightings stirred the quiet coastal town. This series of sightings, often referred to as the Gulf Breeze Six, remains a fascinating chapter in UFO history. The six residents who reported the sightings described them as unusual flying objects, including a large triangular-shaped craft. This wasn't a fleeting glimpse of a distant light. These objects were seen up close and personal, leaving an indelible impression on the witnesses. The accounts were strikingly similar, each describing the craft's odd movements, its silent operation, and its uncanny ability to vanish into the night sky. However, as with many UFO sightings, what exactly was seen remains a matter of debate. Some firmly believe that the Gulf Breeze 6 were genuine encounters with extraterrestrial craft, pointing to the consistent descriptions and the sheer number of witnesses. On the other hand, skeptics argue these sightings were either hoaxes or misidentifications of other aircraft, perhaps military in origin. Despite official investigations, no definitive conclusion has been reached. The Gulf Breeze sightings, like many other UFO encounters, remain shrouded in mystery. We are left with more questions than answers, and the truth, as they say, is still out there. Despite investigations, the Gulf Breeze 6 sightings continue to puzzle us. Our journey ends in Melbourne, Australia, where a large, disc-shaped object was seen hovering above a school. The year was 1966. The location, Westall High School, situated in the quiet suburb of Westall, Melbourne. What started as a regular school day soon turned into an event that would etch itself into the annals of UFO history. Eyewitnesses, both students and teachers alike, reported observing a large disc-shaped object hovering low in the sky. This silent entity was said to emit an intense bright light. It was an unusual sight, one that caused a wave of excitement and fear amongst the witnesses. The object reportedly landed briefly in a nearby field, adding another layer of intrigue to the incident. The landing site, now a children's playground, has been transformed into a UFO-themed wonderland. 
a nod to the school's unique history. This incident, witnessed by so many, was met with a wall of silence from authorities. The lack of any official explanation or investigation left the witnesses and the wider public with a multitude of questions. What was this object? Where did it come from? Why did it choose Westall? These questions remain unanswered, adding to the enigmatic allure of the Westall UFO incident. Like the other sightings we've discussed, the Westall UFO incident remains an unsolved mystery, continuing to capture our imagination and curiosity.